Right now, we are stationed in Albasola, which is a small town, a couple towns over from Verace. And we are again living by the beach. The climbing in Verace is located on this big hillside directly above the Mediterranean Sea. The rock in Verace is really unique. It is unlike many other places I've ever been. It has characteristics of a lot of different places from really crimpy granite to really cool slopey features that are almost like Fontainebleau. Marazzi has been uh, discovered 12 years ago uh, by Marco Bagnasco and he's a very good friend of mine and he called me and all together we came here to, to prepare this big area because every year we were discovering always new sector, new sector, every t all the time, every time. So it's been very, uh, it's been very strong, it's been very powerful, motivating for us to have every day different boulders to try. Italy is definitely known for its food and there's no denying that it's definitely some of the best food in the world. We've been just fortunate enough to go to really great restaurants and, and enjoy some of the incredible Italian cuisine. It's really cool to be living by the beach again and be able to drive by the ocean each day to get to climbing areas and see people walking around and just enjoy enjoy the beach life while on a climbing trip. Another amazing climb that I was able to do while here was the sit start to Alpha Centauri which is this cave that stays wet almost a hundred percent of the time. While here we had a decent amount of rain so right when the rain passed we went to this cave and Almost every one of the holds was dry, so it was really cool to climb on that and be able to do that when all the all the, all the other boulders in Verace were wet.
One climb that I did this trip that I was really psyched about was Gandalf Il Grigio, which is this really cool traverse. Um, starts on the right hand side of the wall, finishes on the left hand side. Crimpy, really intricate with the feet and just a really cool climb that, that has the crux all the way at the end. 